What is model driven architecture? Hello friends, today we will discuss what is model driven architecture. Couple of years back, UML became very, very popular. Why UML came into picture? Every modeling tool vendor has his own modeling notations for object oriented programming. So idea was like, why don't we come up with this one notation which every tool vendor can use so that it would be easy to transfer idea of knowledge from one tool to another tool. It's easy for you to understand a diagram created by Visio modeling tool as compared to some other vendor. OMG group was formed so that we can come up with common notations that all modeling tool vendor can use. Initially, model driven architecture looked very promising. The idea was, okay, you can design your hierarchy, your inter interactions of the object using modeling tools. You can build platform independent model. So you define your model using tools. Uh, so let's take an example of invoice. Invoice has line items and address and light items have sub items and uh, it inherits sub items. So the idea was we can uh, capture our domain model using this modeling tools and then we can generate code for C sharp, Java or Python. So we, we will generate platform specific model. The idea looked very great. You design your model and anytime you can generate in C sharp code tomorrow. If you want to move to Java, you can use these modeling tools to generate code, your business layer for Java. So you could get this language independence. <clears throat> so initially mod model driven architecture looked great. Not only you were avoiding modeling tool vendor locking, but, but also you were avoiding a language locking. You have independence. You could move C sharp to Java or Python. But over that years, I, I, I don't think this idea took it off. So it is very difficult to define a model for enterprise by a couple of architects and control it like dictator. I know some organizations, they bought some modeling from IBM or other vendors and they tried to control the model. Uh, developers have to take permission what kind of object they should create, what kind of properties. I think it was not feasible, not scalable. Developers need their independence because uh, the domain problems can be very, very different and then can be that can be handled more appropriately by developers and developers who are building the application should have should have the authority to decide what kind of object models and interactions they want to dis create so uml can be a sketching tool or it can be a blueprint or it can be a language what does it mean that uml can be either language blueprint or sketching tool if you can generate your business layer or your business model using these tools without any modification, then UML is a language. If you have, you can generate some code and you have to modify, then it's a blueprint. If you are just using it for sketching, just for building some diagrams for communication, then you are using as a sketching tools. I think it has become more popular as a sketching tools. So the question is, model driven architecture or UML is still relevant in 2021. I have not seen too many organizations using model driven architecture as it was envisioned. It is very difficult for architects to control business model at the command level. You, 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 you have to give authority initiative to developers to decide themselves what kind of model they need to generate and not many organizations move to C sharp to Java or Java to C sharp once they have made 
heavy investments. So is UML relevant? Yes, it still has benefits. Let me give you three benefits of UML still in 2021. The first benefit is all the academic literature is based on UML. So you have to understand UML to understand the models. This uh, academic material is uh, trying to teach you. Pick up any design pattern book. It, chances are it has some model diagrams. So you, you have to learn modeling to understand. You have to learn modeling to understand uh, these uh, design patterns and uh, other academic material. And nowadays, uh, it's not that hard UML. It's not that hard to learn UML. There's a lot of uh, online literature. I remember a couple of years back, getting access to this modeling tool was very, very difficult. And you, if you have to, you, you have to get exposure to this modeling tool and it was very good on resume. I, I don't think I know it is anybody is looking for any particular modeling tool skill. Second is uh, um, UML can be used for communication and documentation. I know we developers hate documentation and uh, the a lot of there is the thought you don't need documentation. Your cell code should be written in such a way that your code is your documentation. Your code is telling you the truth. You should be naming your function variables in very readable fashion. But still you need some diagrams to give the overall idea of your architecture. You still need to document overall architecture or some complex behavior of the architecture. And at the same time, you can use UML to communicate ideas with each other. You have some model design. So a lot of places they use some UML uh, technique. Uh, some UML can be UML can be drawn by hand or the tools. They just use UML for conveying their idea, discussing their ideas, and then they throw away those UML diagrams. The third benefit of UML is it helps you to understand the legacy code, the complex code. I was working on a very complex program. It it had it was generating a very complex query. It was like one two thousand lines of code. It was using a lot of timetable. Why uh, why coming up? Uh, why drawing some sequence diagrams and activity diagrams? I was able to understand your code. So friends, today we discussed uh, what is model-driven architecture. Is model-driven architecture is still relevant? And uh, what are the three benefits of UML? A lot of people use uh, use model-driven architecture and U UML terms interchangeably. A lot of people think to design your object-oriented system, you have to use UML, which is not true. U UML just helps to communicate idea, design your model. You don't really need it. Very much friends for watching this video. If you like this video, like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel for your regular updates. Also connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter, especially LinkedIn if you like small summaries of the video. I will be posting a lot of small summaries of the video on LinkedIn. Thanks again.